<clears throat> yeah, I got a show for y'all. Got a damn good show. So Bill Maher was on stage mm -hmm. um, right when all this stuff happened with Trump, like the day before or something like that. And uh, I kind of like what he said when he was on stage. Yeah. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, check it out. I don't know what you think about that. Uh, Something horrible, not funny. I'm sure there will be jokes that people will make because they hate him so much about they wish to went the other way. Not for me. Not funny in any dimension. And whoever did this, whoever was the shooter, has done so much damage to the left. Lost a lot of moral high ground in me. You're the violent people. You know, liberals don't cheat people. Liberals don't solve it that way. Or you can suggest. And when I say moral high ground, I just read this on my show last night. The 2025 project that is the sort of the plank of the Republican Party, which uh, starts our convention tomorrow in Milwaukee. I will be there. You know, the district knows. Um, and see who's there. But, but the guy who wrote that, he said, this is our new plan. He said, this is the new revolution for America, which I've heard a thousand times from Newt Gingrich on forward. Everybody has a new revolution for America. But they don't always say what this guy said, which is, he added, it'll be bloodless as long as the liberals let it happen. Okay, that's not cool either. This shit has got to stop. Because none of this violence happens in the vacuum. It's never in the vacuum. But I'm glad he's okay, Trump. I gotta say this: the luckiest motherfucker <laughs> that has ever walked the face of the earth. And again, I'm happy he's okay. But I mean, 2016, that is kind of the luckiest. He lost the popular vote by a lot. He just pulled it inside straight. Everything happened within his way. The Democratic turmoil that's going on in the party right now, with Joe Biden being his opponent, always lucky, lucky, lucky. I <laughs> mean, I saw that photo today of him with the blood streaming down his face. I don't want to say the election is over. But... <laughs> he said he saw that the election's over. He said when he saw that photo, his blood got his He's like, this. yep, this election's over. <laughs> Yeah, that's a funny way of perspective because I think he's the unluckiest man. They prosecuted yeah. him. Yeah. Kusamud, R-A-P-E. They found him uh, for fraud. And for fraud and there's no crime. How many felonies did he get convicted of? He got impeached twice. Yeah, um, and how many felonies? Like 35 felonies? Yeah, something like that? he's facing prison time for doing absolutely nothing. He's got impeached twice. Yeah, uh, he's actually the unluckiest man. He got shot in the ear. Yeah, he's got shot. I mean... The, to say he's the luckiest man, um, well, that's coming from his perspective. Yeah, as a liberal. Yeah, as a Republican, which is more objective. <laughs> Who wants to get shot in the ear? Yeah, I think it might have might have been. He's got to have PTSD sarcasm. after this, huh? That's it. I'm sure he's got PTSD after this. Percent. Next time he goes speak, he's gonna be thinking about that for the rest of his life. Whenever he's talking, yeah, you don't forget something like that. Yeah, you can play it off like you. It doesn't bother you. I wouldn't doubt it wouldn't. It wouldn't even uh, bother Trump after his response when he got up and he pumped his fist and he said, mm. "Fight, fight, fight." That's not a normal reaction someone would give after being shot. Yeah, that's a that's a strong white man right there. <laughs> that's what's that's what founded this country. Uh, white people like that gives me hope. Yeah, that's a that's what you call a leader. That's a. Trump is a very strong man. Yeah, but uh, what uh, Bill Maher said, we don't have the moral high ground anymore. You never had the moral high ground because y'all been inciting this violence from the very beginning. I mean, people are doing it on the right too, but not at the uh, y'all said not this at man, the uh, threshold that uh, not not at the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Shut up! I'm gonna do some talking. Like y'all been saying, this man is an existential threat to democracy. He's a threat to democracy. He's Hitler. This was right. foreseeable that someone would eventually try to do this. Yeah. Y'all never had the moral high ground. This is why yeah. this happened because of that vitriol from the left. Yeah. If y'all treated them fairly, this wouldn't have happened. It was days before this. Biden came out and said somebody needs to put Trump in front of a bullseye. He said that? Yeah. You didn't see that? Yeah. Biden defends his rhetoric but concedes it was a mistake to make bullseye come in about Trump. You don't say. You know what? Uh, Bill Maher said they had the, uh, the moral high ground. How can you have the moral high ground when you put men in women's restrooms 
Well, he's been totally against that. Yeah, I know. But he but, said they had the moral high ground. Yeah. Since when? <clears throat> well, he Since but, when you had more high ground when your son is out and with all these overseas deals, making millions of dollars on on things he has n- no knowledge about. He has no expertise, no well, acumen. Bill Maher's liberal, and he forgot that his party is progressive now. Yeah. If you go to his comments yeah. on um, Instagram, like when he has Republicans on, yeah, they 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 make comments like, "Bill, just come out of the closet. Everybody knows you're conservative now." No, he's not conservative. Bill Maher has not changed. He's been a liberal. The Democrat Party has changed. He's yeah. been the same Bill Maher. The dude's like a hundred years old now. People don't realize that. But this dude's been a Democrat liberal yeah. his whole life, and he hasn't changed. The Democrat Party abandoned this dude. And he's still voting for him. He's that dude on the Titanic still playing music. He think that party's going to switch back to being liberal. That yeah. party's gone. Y'all got black people voting now? That black black people destroyed that party. <laughs> what? Black people destroyed themselves. <laughs> well, you know 99% of black people, well, not that many. It's a monolith. Like 95% blacks vote Democrat. Man, how we get on Negroes? I was just p- poking fun at him. Yeah. That's all. What, the Negroes? Mm-hmm. I mean, you do that. Every How day. crazy a demographic are you? Even white people don't don't, don't vote ninety five percent for Republicans. Man, I'm tired of talking about the Negro. You can't I, help the Negro. The Negro, they have made that bed, and let them lie in it. Yeah. But Bill Maher's he's liberal. He no, he's not. I know ideology wise, he's liberal. But why are you still voting for a Democrat? That's a progressive party. Well, politics is a team sport for a lot of people. He's not going to abandon his team. That's why he sucks. He sucks on some things, but he sucks on everything. <laughs> Literally. No, he don't. Yeah, he do. He sucks. No, he doesn't. Keith, he's voting for Joe Biden. He sucks. Oh, yeah, okay, I get that. Yeah, but I'm sticking up for Bill Maher too much. Why are you huh? sticking up for that? He sucks. <laughs> you know what? I guarantee you, if Trump wasn't the nominee for the Republican Party, yeah. let's say it was... um. Tosi Gabbard or somebody else. Yeah. I bet you he will vote Republican. It's just that he got that Trump derangement syndrome. So I'm saying, I don't think he's ever voted for Republican though. I know, but his party's so b- crazy now. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, what's crazy. What's crazy. Kevin? Republicans. We've been the same people we haven't really much we haven't changed a lot yeah you common know? sense common sense right now the left democrats change a lot yeah. for the worst though yeah no matter how good the republicans are yeah right yeah if the other side is is crazy yeah we still go downhill we still gonna lose everything gonna lose a country what i said no matter how good the white people are for the republicans <laughs> Because that's, that's all they put out there for president and vice president. <laughs> no matter how good they are, yeah. right, it doesn't matter because the left has lost their mind. They're going to slowly, slowly but surely destroy our country. No, I'm not giving up hope. I'm not giving up hope either. I think Republicans got to play that, play that game better than what they're playing now. Like J.D. Vance, I mean, he's a great pick. but Should have chose Kerry Lake. Why, what's up with you and Kerry Lake? That's a good looking one. I say Tulsi Gabbard. Tulsi or Gabbard? Byron Donald's. My first pick is 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 Lake. Why, Kevin? You know she's never held uh, any political office, right? Yeah, Trump never held any political office. So what's your point? Well, Trump's a billionaire. He's ran successful uh, businesses. Well, uh, Karen Lake is smart, intelligent, and she's and she's easy on the eyes. <laughs> and Tulsi Gabbard easy on the eyes. Yeah, she's easy on the eyes too. That little gray, that little gray streak she got drives me crazy. <laughs> Yeah, man, man, it drives me crazy when I look at it. But Byron, um, Byron Donaldson been a great pick. He been awesome. These are I all think, intelligent people. I think Vivek would have been a great pick. Well, he's not Christian, so white people ain't going for that. I'm waiting for the day for Vivek to come out. Yep, hey, everybody, I'm Christian now. <laughs> yeah, the Hindu stuff, I had to let it go. Yeah. <laughs> if he could come out and do that, I'd say, yep, <laughs> help that dude trying his best to become president. <laughs> You know what? Vivek would be president if he was left. Oh, if he, uh, yeah, yeah, he would. He would do great as a Democrat. 
Yeah, but he 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 sound he he's got Yeah, two. I'm just saying if he was He'd have played the middle of the road kind of guy. Yeah, he would have Yeah, he'd have been Yeah. He, yeah, I'm, I'm telling you. He'd have been he I think yeah, for for Vic he'd have been if he wants to be president, which he I know he does. That's why he ran for it. I'm just it's rhetorical, but he'd uh, he'd have made a lot more progress. <laughs> If he was a Democrat. <laughs> what you said, Republicans are racist? No, I'm just saying. They just, got a prejudice. No, they stubborn assholes. <laughs> y'all know y'all did that brown fella <laughs> wrong. <laughs> that brown fella could have did a good job for our country. Yeah, whatever. But uh, I, I like to see him. He's, he sounds too much like Obama. That's what they say. Yeah, no. Hey, man, what are we talking about? I'm talking about Bill Maher. Yeah, how the hell hey, we Bill, going? where you going to jump off that sinking ship? That ship's sinking. You out there playing the violin. Hey, Keith. Where you going to jump off? You know, that's a saying. That's a saying. Probably going to George Bush this, but I'm going to make an attempt. Um, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. And that's an old dog. That dog, old as hell. It's hard to teach an old dog new tricks, but he's actually liberal, not progressive. Nah, he's liberals a, vote. He's a progressive scumbag. He's voting for Biden. Well, but not. He just doesn't like Trump. He's not progressive. Huh? He's not progressive. He's liberal. He yes, just he doesn't is. like Trump. Keep the dudes voting for a guy who signed executive orders to put men in in women's restroom. <laughs> <laughs> in women's part. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, he you likes know. to think himself as a liberal, but you're not liberal voting for something like that. Yeah. He yeah, sucks. you're right, man. Yeah, it's with screw Bill. Damn, Bill. Screw Bill. Tosi Gabbard, liberal. She's got brains. She came to the right. So that people over there are crazy. Thinking a woman can have a mushroom tip between her legs. Show's over. It's time to give up our new giveaway. It's a Dodge Ram power truck. And we about to do something we ain't never did before. It's a camper. Not only you get a brand new truck, you get a camper with it too. And 10,000 in cash. Hey, Keith. Yeah. We've given away over $2 million in trucks and cash and prizes. We give them back to the people who support us. Instead of giving money to Facebook to advertise this stuff, yeah. they sense on us anyway. So I say, you know what? Incentivize our own people to already support us. It's a win win for everybody. Go to officialhawkswins.com. Anything you buy from the site gets you automatically into the win. Yeah. No purchase necessary. Board were prohibited. See official rules for details. Yeah.